Okay, so what we have in front of us today is a 42 inch plasma TV from Panasonic and it's from the year 2013 and it's also 1080p. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at plasma TVs today and why I think you should be getting one even over an OLED. Yeah, I'm serious. Um, this will just be plasma TVs today and then a follow-up video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna compare this 42 inch plasma to my 42 inch OLED. So yeah, let's turn it on. All right, so this specific plasma TV is a Panasonic TC-P42S60 and it was manufactured in February 2013, so it's 11 years old. Almost uh, 12 when it's February, so yeah. So first off, I'm gonna show some YouTube and I think this video is a good example of, you know, just colors in general and stuff. So just take a look first. So like, first of all, the colors on this are just mind boggling. Like, well, you'll see when I do the follow up video compared to OLED. Um, this blew my mind on how good the clarity is too. The colors are like, Holy sh for me. And the clarity is also just better than my OLED somehow. I'm not making this up. Like, I wish I was lying, but this decade old technology that's obsolete is genuinely better than my 4K OLED. And I'm not making it up. I can't stress enough how much I'm not making this up. It's genuinely better. You'll see, trust me. So, yeah. And uh, plasmas also have a 600 hertz subfield uh, driving, which is not the same as hertz uh, in like refresh rate. It's not a refresh rate. It still has a 60 hertz refresh rate, but because of the 60, 600 hertz subfield driving, which I don't exactly know what it is exactly, but the 60 hertz on a plasma feels like a 240 hertz LCD if I'm not mistaken. So motion clarity is definitely amazing. Um, let's go to a different video that has a bit more blacks um hold on just one second there you go this one has a bit more blacks um Shira Neko, i hope you don't mind that i'm using your videos i will definitely credit you this one has a bit more black and more contrast so yeah god damn they look good you just need to take my word for it on how good this looks. I know my phone is probably butchering the quality, and it probably is. But yeah, you need to take my word for it. If you're considering getting a new TV, consider a used plasma. They're in the same state as uh, CRTs were back in when plasmas went, uh, you know, like they stopped making plasmas like 2013, 2012, 2011. That's when CRTs were like, no one wanted them. No one cared about them. They were like free on the curb. 50 bucks, Dude, people would probably even pay you to take them at that point because everyone wanted flat screens, right? And now, fast forward to 2024, they're highly sought after, like models like the Sony FW900, uh, PC CRT, I'm sure you've heard of, uh, Linus Tech Tips made a video on it. It's like 25 grand, five grand for that, that CRT. So yeah, they're highly sought after. I'm, Pretty sure uh, plasmas will have the same fate right now. They're in the same fate as CRTs were back in the day, where nobody cares about them really. I got this for 50 bucks. It's 1080p, 42 inch. So yeah, uh, if you can find a plasma TV, I'd definitely go for it because I'm totally blown away. And um, look out for uh, if you find a plasma TV, make sure you Google the model number because most plasmas are actually 720p if it's. 42 or 50 inch, like especially the older ones, like before 2010, they're 720p. So if you're fine with 720p and you get it for like under 20 bucks, I'd go for it anyways, because it would still look good. But if you can get a 1080p one, it is so, 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 so worth it. Like I cannot, words cannot describe how good this looks. So anyways, let's uh, go do some gaming. Um, let's, uh, I think my, uh, what's on three? Uh, this setup is new, so I don't really know where my 
things are right now. So here's the Wii U uh, running through HDMI 1080p. Just look at this tile screen. Just looks amazing. If you see some weirdness, it's because uh, the Plasma TV is a 60, 600 hertz subfield. So that's why you might see some mans and lines going through the screen sometimes. Because kind of like a CRT. And like... I got this plasma actually because of uh, another YouTuber that made a video on their plasma. They got a uh, plasma TV and made a video on a Dream Room 64. I'll leave a link down in the description. So Dream Room 64, you're a legend. Thank you for uh, your video. It really convinced me to get a plasma. Man, this just looks so good. Um, here's another game that looks really good. I'm going to load up Pikmin 3 real quick. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm loading up a game right now, but yeah. Uh, I wanted to show you guys Wind Waker. Because uh, Wind Waker also is just a um, you know, really nice game. Pikmin 3 also looks very good. So, yeah. Let's load up Pikmin 3. Um, yeah, I'm loading it up, hold on. On my gamepad here. Uh, it's not focusing, whatever. Okay, well, there, Pikmin 3 is loading up, just hold on. Okay, there we go. There's Pikmin 3. I think my phone is oversaturating. There we go. Like, dude, I cannot get over how good this looks. Like, it looks even better in real life. Also, just look at the menus on this, because uh, this has a lot of blacks and, like, stars. Like, damn, that looks amazing. So, yeah, that's enough of that. Now, let's go to uh, some... Um, let me go to the Xbox 360, which is HDMI 1. We're on some Call of Duty. Black Ops Zombies, um, just, you know, solo. So, yeah. And this game has a lot of dark, dark grays and blacks, so yeah. And the thing is, whenever I played this on my OLED, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. But then, like, when I played it with my friend on split screen, it was, like, so goddamn, like, overstretched. Like, it felt weird. It just didn't feel right. Like, it legitimately just didn't feel right. And this feels right. I mean, I, I just can't describe how good this feels. So, yeah. That's enough of that. Now let's go to the Nintendo Switch. Is my Switch on one or is it two? Um, no signal. I think the Switch is off. Yeah, the Switch is off. Okay. There we go. Okay, so specifically I want to show you guys a specific stage, it's this stage. I think this stage really does a good job of showing just how good the plasma looks. And I hope I don't get wrecked by a CPU. That would be really um, cancer on camera. Just look at the backup. L look at that backup. That looks so good on here. It's undescribable how good this looks. Dang it, Richter. Okay. Richter is being a pain in the butt.
hate the freaking whip. It's such a pain in the butt. Bruh, that almost killed me. Let me grab you, little shit bag. Okay, Richter is a fucking shit bag. Can I grab this motherfucker? Get out of here. Make sure you don't come back, you shit bag. Gotta take that back to you, bitch. No. Damn you. Damn it. So close. Get out of here. Bruh. I, I don't know how I'm not dead. Ah, okay, I'm dead. Great. I'm not dying to the shit bag now, am I? Come on. Come on. I'm not dying to the shit bag. And you know we gotta end it in style. Let's go. So yeah, that's how gaming is. It's honestly, like, I could game on this all day and wouldn't get tired of it, honestly. Like the fluidity and motion clarity is just so good. I played some Doom Eternal on here as well, on my laptop. And it was like night and day difference between my LCD. Like, I tried it on the LCD TV because my friend was over and he was playing on my OLED on my main PC and I was doing it on his laptop. And the freaking LCD felt like garbage. I mean, so garbage. There was a ton of input lag and I could feel the input lag. Like, literally, I could feel it because I'm used to OLED. And once I got the plasma and tried it out, colors are so much better. I mean, the blacks are just, they're black because it's plasma. And it has really good black colors, right? And so, yeah. Uh, let's do a colorful stage here so you guys can see more of the color on this thing, which is again just amazing. Um, I'm gonna do K roll again because I can. And yeah, if you guys can, if you guys are considering a TV, get a plasma. Trust me. Uh, if you find them on places, um, lit and like you find the plasma on like you know, the side of the road. Uh, pick it up and then give it to someone who might want one. Like seriously, there there's a growing number of people who do want plasmas because, especially me, because now I'm I'm completely sold on plasma. And I, okay, Charizard, what the fuck was that? I just got wrecked. All right, uh, okay, Charizard, we don't do that here. All right, no, get over here. I say get over here. Get over here. Okay, why am I getting wrecked by Charizard right now? This is not this is not okay. I'm literally getting wrecked by Charizard, okay. Bro, okay. Nice, Charizard's literally parrying everything. Die, finally, jeez. Thank you for dying. And now Squirtle's gonna kick my ass, good to know. Or an Ivy. No. Bruh. Okay, that was my fault. Stop dodging everything! Do you see this thing? He's dodging everything.
I might actually lose to a Charizard. Wow. I don't think I'm going to win. He's still got two stocks. Well, one stock now, but still, I don't think I'm going to win. No, oh, I couldn't fucking recover. God damn, I did the he, I did the fucking B right after he kicked me, so I couldn't do I couldn't couldn't fucking you know do up B. God damn it. That's how I die, really? Cause oh, that was pathetic. Nah, I want a rematch. That was fucking pathetic. Now oh, where the fuck is Pokemon Trainer? That was friggin' pathetic, really. Go into the abyss or not? Okay. Yeah, go into the abyss, you shit. Shitbird. You know I'm not dunking me, little shipper. Who do you think you are? Wow, that throw killed? Okay. Stupid move! Fucking stupid! Fuck you! No, I'm gonna kill you, little shit. That's what I thought. All right, so that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment on plasma TVs, and hope you'll consider a plasma TV as your new TV. Uh, well, new old TV because these are old. But yeah, if you're let me know if you guys still use Plasma or not. I'm honestly curious, and if you guys prefer them over your OLEDs, because I'm starting to really prefer this over an OLED, but unfortunately I can't use it as a PC monitor because, well, I tried it on my laptop. Uh, gaming looks great, but if you're trying to do, like, web browsing and stuff, the text clarity isn't the greatest because it's 1080p, and Windows also doesn't help doing a good job scaling it. So the OLED just wins there because texture is so much better. Also because the OLED has a higher resolution at 4K. So yeah, let me know if you guys still have your plasma, what model you have. I'm honestly really curious. And if you if you still daily drive it, tell me your story on plasmas. Honestly, I'm really curious. And uh, considering how hitting the subscribe button if you want to see more content on this, I'm gonna make more content on plasmas, CRTs, and OLEDs. And so yeah, if you like this content, consider subscribing. And Dream Room 64, if you're watching this, you're a legend. And you're the reason I got Plasma. So thank you for that. And uh, catch you guys in the next video.